Hello friends, this is Seher from Easy Peasy and the topic that we are going to discuss today is called as ATP hydrolysis. So if we say that ATP is converting into ADP, that process is called as hydrolysis and as it is going to release energy, so the reaction is exergonic. Now let's see how ATP is converting itself into ADP. So we have adenosine triphosphate here and we already know the structure of ATP from the last video. If you didn't watch the last video, the link will be given in the description box. So this ATP has a ribose sugar attached itself with adenine nitrogenous base and 3-phosphate group. That's why it is called as ATP. Now this negative 4 is basically the charge present on each oxygen so we can see there are 4 negative charge that is why ATP negative 4 is represented here. Now hydrolysis means that we need water molecules. So these are the water molecules we are going to use. Now each water molecule have oxygen that is having two lone pairs on it and as we know that water molecules make hydrogen bonds with each other. So these intermolecular interactions can also occur between these two water molecules. So if we say that this lone pair of this oxygen is going to interact with hydrogen over here, by this way this oxygen will get the liberty to have its lone pair attack the phosphate group present in ATP molecule. Now phosphate belongs to group 5, that is why it is making 5 bonds. 2 with this oxygen and 1 1 with these 3 oxygen. So it cannot handle the 6th bond that is creating by this oxygen. Now this phosphate group is unstable so the electrons that are sharing between this phosphate group and oxygen will go back to the oxygen and the bond will be break from here. And as a result, we have adenosine diphosphate with an inorganic phosphate here. From here, the adenosine diphosphate will go under the process called as ionization and will release this proton that is attached with oxygen atom over here. And this inorganic phosphate will go under the resonance stabilization. So this hydrogen is basically not present with one oxygen, rather it is going to relocate itself with all the oxygen and provide stability to this inorganic phosphate group here with the release of free energy. That's it for now. Thank you very much for watching this video. Take care. Bye for now.